We are underway, episode 41. Of course, Hot Sauce Tracy Williams was here at the building earlier today to conduct a seminar, pass on some of his great information to the next generation of athletes, and he is a great ambassador in that sense. Yeah, I mean, uh, we just saw earlier today announced on the Beyond Wrestling Twitter account that Brian Malonis will be here next Thursday, October 20th, and Evil Uno will be conducting a seminar as well on Thursday, October 27th. So any aspiring wrestlers at home watching wrestling open right now, get your ass to the White Eagle on Thursdays, train with the best, and you can find yourself, instead of sitting at home watching, you can be in that ring. Ass is your favorite word tonight. I love it. Well, Let's go. Hot Sauce Tracy Williams looking to use all of that technique and that expertise that he passed down to the next generation right here to great effect on Shazza McKenzie. It's all those small little things as far as his submission techniques that make him so deadly. Yeah, and I do think uh, in regard to that specific skill set, I do think that Shazza is certainly outmatched and she does not want to find herself in a submission hold because I'm going to assume that Tracy Williams knows more holds than she knows counters, but let's see. I don't want to discount the veteran making the trip all the way over from Australia. Heart great core, Shaza McKenzie. And gonna go for that arm bar. Looking this, to break that grip. This one could be over in a heartbeat. But no, lateral press. Unable to secure a victory, but I think if Shaza McKenzie wants to have success here tonight, it's going to have to be through some sort of quick pin. I think it's going to take that to take down someone like Hot Sauce. Sure, and I mean, knowing that Tracy Williams is such a hothead lately, I mean, it might just be a matter of getting under his skin, throwing him off his game, and ma making him make his mistakes. Down goes Shazza. Oh, gets tripped up, though, by McKenzie. That's and now going to see too often. There it is. the toilet into the pinball. And it's going to take something like that if Hot Sauce is going to go down, and Shazza almost made it a reality here in episode 41. Goes off that bottom rope into the second. Springboards into an arm drag. Oh, that's another great technique. Trying to stay above your taller opponent by using the ropes for leverage. Hooks both legs. And speaking of technique that I talked about with Hot Sauce to hook both legs. Very wise move. Not enough to get her the win though. Look at a send Tracy Williams for the ride. That could have been a mistake. Outpowered in that exchange. The flying head scissors as Tracy Williams looking to avoid contact in the corner. Shaz McKenzie not allowing for much separation at all. Just a barrage of strikes right now. McKenzie trying to unleash a flurry of offense in the corner, but runs into a back elbow. McKenzie is flat. And there is a knee. Might have caught the throat there. This could be all. Count of two. Tracy Williams, somebody that is looking to reestablish himself as a player on the national independent wrestling scene. Shaz McKenzie competing internationally, touring the United States for the next few weeks. So while neither competitor is a regular here at Wrestling Open, obviously knowing that there are hundreds of fans watching live every week ringside from the White Eagle, thousands streaming live on IWTV. Ooh! You want to talk about changing the tempo in an instant. He just did it right there. You can't pull any punches. You know what's at stake. I absolutely know what's at stake. Every week here, wins and losses are so crucial. So Hot Sauce wants to make the biggest impact possible. But Mackenzie, she's a fighter. She's a gamer. She's sticking in there. Looking for a backdrop suplex. Great counter from Tracy Williams, sends Shaza into the corner. Shaza though with an escape of her own. Tracy Williams went for the strike, got blocked and caught with a kick. And now Hot Sauce kicked in the head once again. He might be out. And McKenzie bringing Hot Sauce and now his arms all tied up there. And here comes Shaza. He's looking for a sequence of kicks. Hot Sauce corner, gonna be dragging her into the ring. Shaza trying to find her footing. But there goes Hot Sauce. He caught himself before making that impact on the hardwood floor here at the White Eagle. Oh, and there's a kick right to the temple. McKenzie is rocked here, and Hot Sauce could get very dangerous. He's got a hook for that half hatch. Instead, shoulder sent into the middle of the turnbuckle. Shaz McKenzie now looking to create an attack from a very unusual position. And look at that unique 
style of kicking here from McKenzie in the corner. That and takes five off. minutes of the lapse in the time limit. Five minutes remain. That takes a lot of coordination and a lot of balance as Shaws are looking to continue the attack on the floor with that tope through the first and middle rope. Knows you can't win it out there. And it's less right than forward. five minutes to work with. And she is going right back in there. Wise move here from McKenzie. Will it pay off? High cross body connects. Able to hook the leg. But unable to secure that victory. It was so close after Hot Sauce was putting on a vicious beating here. I think that Shaz McKenzie has come in with this match with an excellent strategy, now looking for a submission of her own. Instead, the neck breaker into the ace crusher gets shrugged off, and just the size difference coming into play as a sit-out powerbomb impact into the pin. Good night, no! Out at two. You think, uh, you think that, that Sauce was a little too cocky there? It was very apparent that he thought in his mind that it was a wrap, but instead, Jazza McKenzie hanging on here in episode 41. And now Hot Sauce going for the kill again. Looking for that gotch style hold. Going to that second rope. But McKenzie coming in using those educated feet once again. That was great flexibility and extension on that kick. I don't know that she's gonna be able to take Tracy Williams over, oh no. Looking for some signature offense. She had that second row DDT scouted, able to avoid contact on the clothesline. And now the backdrop suplex, unable to hold on for the bridge and instead running in with a knee. And now dragging Hot Sauce into the center of the ring, hooks the leg. Out at two. As things are winding down here, we could be coming up on a time limit, perhaps. I mean, five minutes just felt like a minute ago. Oh, Shaza looking for a neck breaker variation and take it down the clothesline. Hot Sauce isn't done. We're gonna send a message to all the fans ringside, everybody watching on IWTV. Has her up. Maybe a running Death Valley driver. Oh, God. Hit all of it. Come Good night. 100. No. And he's going for a submission here, crossface. And that is it, Hot Sauce Tracy Williams is your winner here in episode 41. The time of the fall, seven minutes, 34 seconds. Here is your winner by submission, Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. Tracy Williams securing the victory over Shazza McKenzie. And you have to give Shazza a lot of credit DC because she took a beating in there and still kept on coming back. I thought she came into this match with a great strategy. I, this is the most impressed I've ever been with Shaza, and that's even coming up short to somebody like Tracy Williams. And you can see how disappointed she is. She had been waiting for this opportunity for years at this point. But what is that the tender weapon? I know Love Dug's in the building. What's but the tender weapon doing here, Paul? Well, the tender weapon is here, and Shazza, very dejected. Maybe he's uh, coming out to, you know, console. Maybe console. But Hot Sauce Tracy Williams and Shazza McKenzie. Oh. Wait, hold. what is that? Brother Greatness. Come on. Brother Greatness attacking oh! the tender weapon with that collection basket. And he is getting the hell out of here and Shazza McKenzie coming in for the same. The tender weapon and Shazza McKenzie. They didn't, they didn't get to enjoy that moment because of brother greatness. Again, getting his fingers all over wrestling open.